understand phone structure. I do have to warn you, though, that some of the video in this story may be disturbing. We use these uh, needles to help clean the phone off. What they do is they take, uh, they actually just lay it on the phone. These creepy crawlers may seem a little gross, but they serve a big purpose. What, if, what I do is um, I take a squirrel or whatever animal I want, I skin it, remove all the internal organs, try a specific grind process I have, and then put the beetles in there, which they'll eat the muscles, the legs, the tendons, leave it just the bones only. They're called dermestic beetles. After they clean the bones, Patel can bleach them, making them easy for students to study. The flesh-eating beetles offer an opportunity for students at Wallace to get a more hands-on approach to education. At Wallace, we don't really get to do hands on that thing. And open up the bottom corner of the square, this is already open. And we can see, as he said, that he put the lungs and the heart and the intestines out. And uh, beetles go in there and eat around. And this opportunity is one even many four-year colleges don't offer in Alabama. It's the only one around here that's doing it out that, that I know of. And it's just, it's just, it provides the students to actually know what happens to these things that die. And while the beetles attack dead flesh, they're actually safe to have. I let them crawl over me all the time. My hands. After the beetles finish cleaning up this squirrel, Patel says he plans to have them devour a snake, all in the name of science. Green McKenzie, WTY, News 4. Well, Patel says 